nitro sauce, guys. This is essential. I love this place because you get like unlimited condiments. Condiments? Condiments. <laughs> Yummy. So good. crowded. Um, we're gonna do our first Q&A, my first Q&A, the first time, before we go into 99 Ranch. 99 Ranch market. Before, yeah. So we're gonna go to 99 Ranch. Ranch. <laughs> I was like, I hate it. Okay. <laughs> so we're gonna do my first Q&A and I have Deborah here with me to be by my side to answer my first Q&A questions because it's actually pretty intense. I, I get really shy. And we're actually here in San Gabriel Valley where we both grew up mm -hmm. and a lot of memories and a lot of, just a lot of memories. So, oh my 1997. God. 1997. <laughs> 1997. Yeah. That is so long ago. After mm -hmm. this, after this Q&A, um, we're going to go to 99 Ranch Market to get some ingredients to make easy, easy, less time consuming pine on chicken rice. Yeah, so it's really, it's a really hard dish to make, or it's not even, it's hard as in, in, in uh, you simplify it for you guys, because <laughs> she loves you guys. <laughs> so after this, we're gonna go to 99 Shrek Market, we're gonna head back to my lab, my lab, cooking lab. <laughs> my cooking lab, and we're gonna make your very own pine on chicken rice. Should we, make, should we call it Hainan? We should call it something else after this. Hainan chicken chicken. Hainan chicken. Question number one. Uno. Uno. So, okay. Who is your favorite? Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna see a couple and you can answer whichever you want first. Um, painter, artist, your favorite chef. Who do you see as like your favorite um, inspirations? Uh, okay. Artists in general. Okay, <laughs> chef. Definitely Anthony Bourdain. Ooh, Anthony Bourdain. Bourdain. I know. Anthony Bourdain is just hardcore. He's real. He's raw. He doesn't care. He just and he just lives life with no boundaries. But he is so open-minded. He would travel everywhere and try different foods that are like kind of weird. No, he would. He would go to um, Thailand and try like. Oh, like cockroaches and <laughs> gross stuff like yeah, that. Like, yeah, like try a uh, pig's blood soup, which mm, I would that never. That really good. <laughs> You've never had pig's blood? No, I had a Chinese one. You. <laughs> you know the little ones? Yeah, okay, those, yeah, but he oh. actually drank it like it's almost raw blood. Yeah. So you can oh. see like the weird clots and like a liquid. Butter, yeah. Oh, okay. And he actually That's liked it. So. Okay, so next question. Oh, did you want to, um, did you want to go on to like a oh, artist, artist or like um, a painter, any other like musicians that music, inspire you? Okay, musicians, a lot. You know me. I, like, I know, that's been hard. <laughs> <laughs> we both love music, so if you ask us what's, our, what's your favorite food or what's your favorite music, I don't know. But There's no favorite, there's too many. <laughs> I know. Two certain musicians or producers. A love above and beyond for trance. Above and beyond. <laughs> Drum and bass dimension. <laughs> <laughs> they don't own. <laughs> don't mind doing it, right? 
<laughs> no, that's techno. Okay, I'm that's techno. Sorry, anyway. There's a lot of producers who inspire me musically and for my everyday life thing. Like, I don't make music particularly, but they do inspire me to like think and feel differently. Okay, let's go to question number dos. So, Irish Star Wars, he, he says that you would love to see a series like uh, cooking national dishes, but with your own twist. What do you think about that? I think that's actually a really good like idea. I mean, I do that anyways. Like mm -hmm. any restaurants I go to, I'll be like, wow, this is so bomb. I'm just gonna do my own version of it. Yeah. So yeah, I'll do it. So we have a couple people um, mentioning vegan spots in LA. Are you are you big on vegan dishes, or have you tried to? make anything vegan yet and do you ever want to in the future um well as you may know um nick is kind of vegan really i didn't know that kind of he just chooses he's eat. already getting into it no he just chooses to eat vegetables over meat, if okay. it's meat yeah so anyways i do kind of cook vegan already my favorite Ethi ethiopian restaurant is in north hollywood i actually don't technically know the name but most ethiopian food in north hollywood if you go on that strip i'll probably put a link below That's or the something. address below it's all vegetarian it's all vegan you eat with your hands so it's awesome. okay third question mm. <laughs> <laughs> your friends are funny dude okay so shaggy joe says if you could eat any pokemon who would you eat Bell sprout. <laughs> Bell sprout. Dude, every time I go to like club places or anything, I'm always like, hey, can you take out the bean sprout? I mean, With the oh, bell no. sprout. <laughs> I just, I did you, that. You know what I mean. I did that in school. <laughs> you did? I passed the bell sprout. Yeah. Uh, and everybody looked at me like, what? Okay. So maybe bell sprout, but no bell sprout, maybe. Or slow poke. Is <laughs> slowpoke? Ooh, piggy. Wait, is slowpoke a pig? No, there's actually a thing in the Pokemon Go game that uh -huh. um, people sell slowpoke tails to eat. Really? It's like a, Gosh, I don't know. It's that. a, it's a crazy weird um, fact about Pokemon. In like the older games or the newer ones? It's just in general the whole story behind each Pokemon. Mm -hmm. I sound like Nick. Okay, so question three or four, or I think whatever four. it is. Okay. Um, <laughs> Now, if you, oh, so this is for both of us. If you can travel anywhere together, where would it be? <laughs> Back then, mm -hmm. it would be some party, I, I, a party like Ibiza, island. Ibiza, huh? Ibiza, I was yeah. That too. But that's <laughs> not really, I, I, when I, when, like right now, I think Thailand. Thailand or like Indonesia, yeah. um, Vietnam, All Cambodia. these tropical places. The food. ghetto. The ghetto. Um, cheap food. Mm -hmm. Amazing weather by the beach. Yeah, Visa is like Visa is like what? Like another it's just mainstream now. It's expensive, fancy. Uh -huh. and it's like we want to go to the ghetto <laughs> with the good food. <laughs> oh, we were just talking about this earlier. What's your favorite music to cook to? And what is the strangest dish you've ever tasted? And did you like it? This is from Hop Spindle. Favorite music I like to cook to? B and B. Drum and bass. A little B and B. <laughs> It's because it's faster and my mindset is like faster, so it's easier for me to like chop. Or, or like some chill house music. Yep, I agree. But mostly drum and bass. Something with a good beat. Yeah. <laughs> and then um, the second part to that was, what was the strangest dish you've ever tasted? Oh. And did you like it? Uh, what's that? Bolo? Bolo? It's like that. Um, the balloon egg? Balloon egg, yeah. I liked it. <laughs> but. The texture of crushing the weird skull oh. inside was not really my. Were you supposed to eat that? Like, chew it? You're supposed to eat the whole thing. Isn't there like a beef? And everything? Okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that was weird for me, but it, the juice and everything, it was, it was good. But that, yeah, that was really weird oh, for me. That's a Vietnamese type it's, of dish, right? Yeah, it's Vietnamese and Filipino. Okay. Um, I can, I can kind of answer that too, but so. Um, <laughs> The weirdest thing that I've ever tasted was testicle bowl. <laughs> I mean a bowl testicle. A testicle bowl. Was it chewy? You know what? Strangely, it was like liver texture. Where, yeah. Like the outside was hard, but soft at the same time. You know liver? I love liver. So maybe you'll like <laughs> testicle bowl. Testicle bowl. <laughs> what are you saying that? Maybe you like bowl testicles. Number six. Hmm. This is from... Anna, Anna, La Anna Laxia. 
She says, what dish of yours would um, Nick say? What dish of yours would Nick say? <laughs> 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 okay, so um, what he what likes? Dish, what dish of yours would Nick say is his favorite? His, I think maybe I can tell on his face what he likes the most is probably like <laughs> from his face. <laughs> his curry or um, that the Thai curry. Uh huh. Yeah. Or uh, well, there's a lot of stuff on his shit. I don't mm. know. Oh, I mean crap. Um, <laughs> I don't know. There's a lot actually. Yeah, mostly like curry stuff. Yeah, curry. Mm. I gotta try your Thai curry. I love Thai food. Yes. Also from Anna Anaclaxia. Did you like Pokemon or Pokemon Go before you met Nick? Oh no, I always liked Pokemon. Actually. That's not even a question. Yeah, I actually liked mm -hmm. Pokemon. It was just weird that when he did tell me about that, I was like, oh my god, such a nerd. Before the I game come out. When we were in both, we were both in fifth grade. This was 1990, <laughs> 2000 actually. Where we went to Carver Elementary School together, and we used to like. Have our game was obviously we would play Pokemon all the time. Yeah. <laughs> we also had that little, little like tucky. yellow Pikachu thing where you would like have to shake it. We took and it the more watts you get. Yeah. yeah, we took it to PE. <laughs> so we did like jumping jacks, like we would count, you know, little mm -hmm. getting more watts. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I remember watts. you were always next to me too. You were like on my left. I was on your right. <laughs> oh, good memories. Let's have one last question. <laughs> um Lisa Gong asked. What are your first favorite and most embarrassing memories of each other? <gasps> and why do you think you became and stayed such good friends? That's a good question. It's because, okay, <laughs> you know how we stay good friends? It's because the amount of embarrassing things we've gone through together, mm -hmm. of all of like the crazy things we've gone through together, even like the most happy, like the most happiest, <laughs> whatever crazy, we still like embrace it together. And we don't judge each other. No. We don't at all. Even though we look stupid sometimes, we would just be like, <laughs> and. Yeah. And you know what? I, I feel like the thing that really built our relationship was just being weird. Like being the weird people in our school <laughs> that like we just we just stood out because we we're always so weird. We like, just we, we, we just, just didn't care. Yeah, we yeah. just didn't care. We didn't give a shit. We yeah. didn't give a crap. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I can't really say our most embarrassing oh, do we have a most embarrassing moment? Oh, wow. We have a lot, but it just seems so normal to us. <laughs> right? Everything's you know? embarrassing. What was it? <laughs> okay, maybe just now. It wasn't even embarrassing. Maybe they. What, what was it? I was just gonna say when you were threading my eyebrows. <laughs> oh, <laughs> like at the restaurant. But that's not even weird for us. Yeah. Uh, oh my gosh. Yeah, we probably shouldn't talk about that. <laughs> like, okay. <pulling> about you. <laughs> we like spent the entire night, like, and being in Ve going to Vegas. Oh, okay, that was. Oh my gosh! <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right, we, we got one. Sorry, we had to like behind oh the scenes talk about it. We, she picked me up one time. I was like, hey, let's go to Vegas. <laughs> and Wait, what year was this? 2007? Okay, I don't know. We we're probably around 17, 16, 17. Yeah. Now. She like stole your grandma, grandpa's car. Grandpa's car. <laughs> and we had like how much? Like 20 bucks. We had 20 dollars. <laughs> How do we even Twenty dollars, <laughs> and then we went to Vegas. <laughs> we went straight to Vegas just because. Just one day, we we're like, let's just go, let's have fun. Yeah, we had fun. We, we had fun. We had fun. <laughs> we had right. fun. I don't know how we had the gas and the money, but we actually survived and we like, drove it. back and we made it. Yep, yep. Gosh, and there's like also a memory. Uh, I remember you were asleep in the car. Oh my god. <gasps> and I was like trying to pass someone on the on the freeway. Yeah. I remember like. As soon as I, you know, passed the car, there was a bridge, like uh, a, like an over, like a bridge going over it, and I had to like squeeze into like next to the bridge in between and the car, uh -huh. and I was so scared because like, I didn't see the bridge. And I was like, oh my gosh! But we made it like right in between. I was like, oh, I'm not gonna tell Cassie. <laughs> I, I was mean, so scared. She told me that, and I was like, what? I don't remember this. Yeah, we could have died. Yeah, we could have, but she's okay. she's a good driver. I'm a ninja good driver. driver. Yeah, she's a ninja. Okay, so that's that was a good first Q and A. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna head over over there, get ingredients really fast, and then we're gonna head back to my kitchen lab. Thank you for the questions, and then for next week, I'll uh, I'll make an another announcement for another Q and A. Peace. <laughs> Oh my god, the cards are so old. Creak! Creak! <laughs>
Chicken leg with skin. Skin adds more flavor. Look at my eyebrows. So horrible. I need leak. <laughs> but she's gonna she's gonna do it right now because at the restaurant. Yeah, at the restaurant. Hopefully I mean you don't really care. That's why we're friends so. <laughs>